On a warm summer evening in the summer of 1958, a young science fiction writer by the name of Gene Roddenberry was gazing at the stars from his bedroom window. At the same time, he turned on his transistor radio and he heard a voice singing, Where are you, little star? He was truly amazed by the coincidence. Star date 1966, that same Gene Roddenberry would create the legendary Star Trek television series and credits that moment in the summer of 1958 as the inspiration for what was to become this groundbreaking television classic. Star date, September 14, 2014. On this beautiful Sunday evening, along with the rest of the guys, the 2014 San Gennaro Feast is proud to present the man who wrote the sang the lead vocal on that life-altering number one hit song. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Vita Pacone and the Elegance. <laughs> A long time ago, ladies and gentlemen, for us, 1956, we first started, 1958, we had the biggest selling record in the history of the Hawaiian Islands, and number one internationally. The February made me shiver, 56 years ago. So many of the guys that grew up with us became legends and some of the biggest artists today. I couldn't just to travel on buses and go on tour with us. One, one gentleman we would watch in the wings every night, mesmerize an audience every single night. Read we about his widow breath. Sixty days I watched. But something touched me. We lost this man in a uh, plane crash on the island. The day we dedicate this to our the good friend, Mr. Buddy Holly. Buddy Holly. Down. Every day 
got to sway to the left and the right. Right, to the left, right, left. That's it, nice and easy. You can't bring a hip this way. Actually, probably, as I said, 56 years ago, but this particular day, 56 years ago, we were at the Brooklyn Fox Theater for 10 days with Alan Freed. We did one of his, one of his early concerts, and uh, there were so many different artists, but everybody we thought was in the doo-wop world, and then we found some guy came out of the South somewhere, and he came all dressed in black, jet black hair, black sunglasses, and totally, totally different than anything that we had seen. And he just looked down in the Brooklyn audience and he said, Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Johnny Cash. I know how it goes. <laughs> this is not a sing-along. 
I'll let you know when I want you to sing. Okay. <laughs> you're so warm. Oh yeah. Lovable guy. But it's nice to know if I forget the words. You're, you're right there to help me out. Okay. I, no, no, she's going like this. Why don't we let it just let them come and follow the bouncing balls, all right? <laughs> Keep on bouncing. Remember, folks, Vito was the one that said that, not me. That was not me. All right, let's try that again. Take two. People see us everywhere. They say you really care. But myself, I can't deceive. It's only make me believe.
a couple of months ago decided that we know who we are. We are a 50s group. It's never going to change. We're not going to be having new hit records. The only CDs that we're actually going to be thinking about doing, we're actually thinking about doing a CD now, and it's basically going to be sounds of us getting an in and out of cars. So, we'll hit... Uh, oh! Jeez! That's, that's, that's going to be a new CD. That's a nice one. <laughs> but anyway, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we did decide that we would take songs of our of our past. I'm, <laughs> I'll tell you a quick story. It's just like this is this is so apropos for this song. You know, when you grow up in an Italian neighborhood, some people become neurosurgeons, some become school teachers, some people become other guys. You know what I mean? So, I didn't see this friend of mine for many years. He was in, he was in college. <laughs> <laughs> and when he came out, he said, hey, Vito, you still singing? I said, yeah, we're still singing. He says, any records? I said, no, we're not making any records anymore. I said, the market has changed. He said, I got a good idea for you. Be, a, be another hit. Be a good hit. I said, well, I don't think I want to hit. <laughs> he said, no, no, listen to me. He said, you can't miss. You get an old song, you know, and you give it a new arraignment. God's honest truth. So we gave it a new arraignment. <laughs> and, we, <laughs> and we came up with this song. It was done originally. Who did the song first? Of all? Oh, the Hot Toes. Hot Toes. Oh, no, I think I went to college. <laughs> anyway, this, this particular song was done by the Hot Toes. We gave it a new arrangement, and this is how it goes.
But we're going to do it in a in a folk theme. We're going to actually just tell you the story of Stagger Lee. Love it. The night was clear and the moon was yellow and the leaves came tumbling down. Yeah, I was, uh, I was standing on this corner and I heard my boat dog walk. He kept walking and then two people who were up. Uh, they were gambling in the dark. And Billy, two men who always gamble late. But Staggerly threw a seven. Billy said, no way, man. You threw an eight. But Staggerly said, no way, Billy. I can't let you go along with that. You know, you don't want all my money. You don't want my goddamn hat. And he got his 44. He said, I'm going to go to the bar room. I won't pay that debt I owe. Go ahead, Staggerly. Go to the bar. across the barroom door. He said, nobody moves. And he pulled his big ass 44. Man, for Staggerly, please, cried Billy, please don't take my life. You see, I got three little children and a, and a very sickly wife. For Staggerly, shot Billy. Poor boy, so bad that the bullet went clean through Billy and it broke the bartender's glass. Oh, he killed him there. Go Staggerly, go Staggerly, go Staggerly, go Staggerly, go Staggerly, go Staggerly. Come on. If you, I, I know I'm putting a lot of pressure on you, man. All right, don't don't screw up this note. All right, you got it. Here we go. One, two, three, four.
Get some help, sir. Get some help, sir. I got it. I'm watching. You want to give me a hand? Diana, help with Diana. Get your girlfriend. Diana, help him. Help the poor guy. Diana, help him. Help the poor guy. Diana, help him. Help the poor guy. Oh, it's a chair. Oh, first day, first day. Hey, get out of here. Get out of here. Get a, a little goose. A little goose, Diana. Come on, come on. A little goose, Diana. All right. All right. <laughs> right. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Right. You got what you asked. Oh my God. Hold it. Enjoy every minute. Enjoy every minute. Was it good for you? <laughs> it was good for me. Sweetheart, don't worry about nothing. His, his wedding song was Mr. Softy. Uh-oh. 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 Yeah, hold, hold it. Hold it. Hold that it. you know how to play.
star on the Walk of Fame. However, it's not in Hollywood, it's in Wildwood. <laughs> that's close, that's close. Any wood is good. <laughs> we'll take a wood. We'll take a wooden star. <laughs> You know, the song itself, we received an award. It was called the Millionaire's Award. It does not mean they gave us a check for a million dollars. It means that the song aired one million times on the radio. A million times on the radio. I was more excited to get that award than if they would have given me a check for a million dollars. Oh, yeah. Who got? <laughs> Give me the scuttle. Give the plaque to my dentist. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, as many people say, <laughs> we'd like to do this song, and it goes something like this. However, I'm 73 years old. It goes nothing like that. <laughs> you want to hear it the right way, go home and play the record. <laughs> That's the best way. <laughs> <laughs> However, we have, we have to, as obligated as we are, we, we have to do this. <laughs> we're going to do this. We just did a show. Out of fact, we did two shows last night in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Oh yeah. What, a, what the American Music Theater? If you ever get a chance to go down to Lancaster, the most beautiful theater you've ever seen. Two beautiful sold-out shows. I think the seats were 1,100, 1,100 people. 1,100 two sold-out shows. Gorgeous, nice people. Lancaster itself is just a strange place. A very very quiet, laid-back place. Oh, a lot of horse and buggies, Amish, Amish people all over the places. And they treat those horses like they were gods. It's amazing. They had the right-of-way on the highway. I never saw anything like that. I got the God's honest truth. Right on Route 30, going there, it's one lane. There was an accident. The car hit a horse. It was. We were stuck there for 45 minutes. And the worst, the cop walked up, pulled out his gun. He shot the car. <laughs> You can't touch those horses in there. <laughs> anyway. anyway. All right, where was I? Okay. Yeah, where was you? But the song that goes something... Uh, nothing. Nothing like this. I told you before, nothing stays the same. That was the name of the song. You didn't believe me. We're going to do, we're going to do a song that actually was our signature song. And it's the song that brought us together with you 56 years later. God bless you and thank you for Little Star. Send me 